All right, so good evening, everyone. Welcome to Yin. I'm Trish. We're going to do a nice, gentle, relaxing session this evening. So grab all your blocks. We're going to start off with a block. And we're going to start off with block on the back. So let's come down onto our back just for a moment. And from here, maybe just let the knees roll in towards each other. Bring your feet to the out a little bit wider to the edges of the mat. And just take a couple of breaths here into the back of the body. So relax the shoulders away from the ears. And then, so with this position, our back should feel really nice and flat on the ground. Just take a couple of nice deep breaths and just check in. Notice how everything feels. And then just slide the legs out when your back feels okay. Come into Shavasana just for a few breaths. Just take some nice deep body breaths into the body. Notice how everything feels. Just do a quick body scan. And just noticing any areas where you might be holding on to tension or feeling tight as you lie in this neutral position. Notice you're holding tension maybe through your face, through your shoulders, neck and throat, try to relax those areas. And down through the arms, through the torso, chest, the belly, through the back, and then scanning down through your hips and glutes, all the way down through your legs, noticing any tight areas, softening those areas the breath. Deepening the breath, we'll take a couple more nice deep breaths here. Softening down and then when you're ready just slowly bring some movement back in, wriggling fingers and toes and then circle your wrists and your ankles a few times in one direction and back the other way. From here let's take the arms up, we have a little stretch, extending the arms to the sides or above the head, maybe pointing and flexing the feet, little side stretch from side to side. And then as you exhale, hug the knees into the chest, maybe roll yourself into a little ball, rolling the nose towards the knees, shoulders away from the ears, and then lengthen shoulders, neck and head back down. From here just gently rock yourself from side to side, massaging out through the back, and then as you rock from side to side, Circling your knees a few times in one direction and then gently back the other way. And then take the knees apart, circle them in opposite directions. Keep the face and the shoulders relaxed and then gently back the other way. All right. From here, we're going to bring the, uh, and then bring the feet back to the ground, hug your belly into the spine. And just gently drop your knees from one side of the body to the other. So just a very gentle mobilizing twist. And then come back to center. Okay, so now we're going to grab our block. Have your block close by. If you like, you can even pop your block in between your knees for a moment. So that keeps our feet and our knees hip width so that our feet don't, our knees, sorry, don't fly out to the sides. We're going to do three shoulder bridges and just roll the spine just to mobilize. And then we're going to come into our shape. So from here, we start to roll the pelvis under and then squeeze your glutes. Make sure your, your knees stay parallel and then exhale, lifting the hips. As you get to the top of your shoulders, breathing in. And then as you exhale, roll your spine back down one vertebra at a time. Okay, so come back to neutral. Inhale, curl under. Exhale, lifting the hips. Breathing in at the top and then exhale, roll yourself back down. Let's do one more and then come back into a neutral spine. One more, tuck the tailbone under, exhale, lifting the hips, breathing in at the top, and then as you exhale, you roll your spine back down, come back into neutral. Okay, this time we are going to stay in our shape, so we're going to tuck under, exhale, lift the hips. Just actually release your block, grab your block, and then come up into your shoulder bridge. Now we're going to pop that block underneath your sacrum. So the sacrum is the little triangular flat part of your lower back just above your tailbone. So, so we're not putting onto the lower back here. And then from here, we want to extend the legs out. So you should just kind of be supporting an O. Oh, you should feel a really nice opening up through your hip flexors right now. There should be no pinching in the bones in your lower back. If there's any pinching in the lower back, maybe come up and slide your block a little bit further down. 
If you want a little bit more, you can maybe turn your block onto its higher end and then from here, extend the legs out. So find a comfortable position and then make sure once again, there is no pinching whatsoever in the lower back. Okay, and then we want to extend the legs out and just feel this nice supported opening up through the hips. From here, keep your hands either by your hips, you can take them out by the shoulders or maybe bring them up above the head. And just keeping the belly hugging in towards the spine, maybe a little arch in the back just to create engagement through the back of the body so that we're feeling supported through our spine and there's no pinching in the bones. And we're going to hang out here. And just breathing into the hips, breathing into the belly. And so we spend long periods of time seated during the day. A lot of the times our hip flexors get a little bit tight. So we're just getting that nice supported release. Sometimes it might feel nice to bring your hands onto the belly just as an option and maybe give yourself a little massage if it feels right for you. Otherwise, just keeping your hands wherever is comfortable. Finding the breath. Take a couple more nice deep breaths here. And then when you're ready, start to activate your core and then keeping the pelvic floor active, belly hugs in. We bend the knees, bring the feet back in. And then from here, we tuck our pelvis under, squeeze the glutes, lift the hips, remove your block and roll yourself back down one better at a time. You can get to the bottom, find neutral, draw the belly in towards the spine. And then just gently draw the knees from one side of the body to the other for a few times. And then when you've done that a couple of times, just slide the legs out and just come back into neutral for a minute and just allowing the spine to settle. And then into Shavasana, coming back to stillness and just taking some nice deep breaths here. Observing the breath, observing the energy. Perhaps our breath feels a little bit more expanded, as if you can bring it a little bit lower down into the belly, a little bit deeper into the hips. So 
breathing if you're ready feel free to stay in shavasana a little bit longer if you need to otherwise don't really wiggle the fingers and toes be stretching out and then hug the knees in keep the belly hugging into the spine as you gently rock from side to side start lengthening your sit bones down towards the long end of the mat and just massaging out through the back and then gently circling the knees a few times in one direction and back the other way and then take the knees apart circle them in opposite directions and then back the other way at any time if you have a cramp shake it out thumb up the shape and shake it out all right so from here let's now grab our block and maybe just drop the knees from side to side again if you like and then now we're going to place our block on our lower back now so and let's do the same thing we scoop the pelvis under and this time we bring the block a little bit higher up so as you can see my uh, hopefully you can see my block because it's black but it's actually now on my lower back and then from here i want to bring my knees up and start to hug both knees in towards the chest so when you're in this position you might want to walk yourself a little bit lower down and you feel that um lumbar support against your lower back almost like we're sitting in a chair and sometimes you get those lumbar pillows on your on your office chair and so it just it should feel like that and just giving us a little bit of support here and then just widen through the hips and just gently rock yourself from side to side circle your knees a few times very slowly and gently in one direction back the other way keep a little bit of core engagement here just to keep the body stable okay and then from here we are going to release our right leg to the floor so i'm not mirroring this evening and then keeping your knee bent we hug the left knee in towards the belly and keeping that hip that knee in line with your hip socket and just take a couple of breaths here notice how that left hip wants to lift up as well so just keeping the hips level and then as you exhale keep softening through the hip crease softening the shoulders softening the face as you exhale maybe you can hug that knee and thigh a little bit closer in okay now this right knee we're going to start to let the knee roll out to the side and try to keep the hips and the pelvis level you're going to start to bring the left knee out towards your armpit so now it's like a diagonal line across the front of my body okay and then from here i'm going to start to bring that left foot towards the, the sky so we're almost coming into we're coming into half happy baby so this, when you start to hold the back of your knee as an option and maybe just gently rocking from side to side open the right knee out to this other side to counterbalance okay so and because the block is quite high up on our back we keep, want to keep that right knee bent if it's super uncomfortable you have the option of coming back up slide that block back down to your sacrum and you can extend the foot out in front of you otherwise keep if your block is still on your lower back then where we're in this position then you keep your knee bent your supporting knee all right so from your half happy baby pose from behind the knee maybe you can start to bring your hand a little bit further up your shin or your calf or up onto your foot and then keep widening out through the hips we should feel this very nice compression and squeeze through that left hip and maybe you're feeling this nice supported opening on the inside of that right thigh through your groin and through your kidney meridian just breathing into it maybe gently rocking your foot from side to side And then gently release the leg or release your foot bring yourself back into your feet back on the ground and then lifting the hips remove your block roll yourself back down 
Come back into a neutral spine, belly hugs in, and then just gently dropping the knees from one side of the body to the other. All right, from here, come back into neutral and just slide the legs out. Come back into Shavasana just for one minute, just to feel into the body and notice how you feel on one side compared to the other. Observing the breath, observing any subtle shifts in energy. Okay, when you're ready, slowly bring some movement back in, wriggling fingers and toes. Maybe one hand stretching out and then bringing the knees, hug the knees in towards the chest, maybe rolling into a ball and then rocking from side to side. And as you rock from side to side, let's lengthen our sit bones back down. And then just circling the knees in one direction, other way. And take the knees apart, opposite directions, and then other way. All right, let's come into that same. Uh, practice a little on the other side so we grab our block we lift our hips and we want to bring that block back underneath our lower back from here widen the hip crease and then hug the knees in to find the right alignment for your block okay so we want to maintain that natural arch to the spine keep the belly hugging in and then from here we are going to once you have both knees hugged in roll putting through the hips and then we release the left foot or knee and bring that knee back down. So right now the knees are square in line with the hips and then we're just widening through the hip crease and as we exhale softening through that right hip trying to keep the hips level and just taking a couple of nice deep breaths here. Softening through the hip crease, maybe hugging that knee and thigh a little bit closer in with the exhalation. couple more breaths in this uh, knee to belly position and then when you're ready we're going to open that left knee out to the side and then inhale and as you exhale we're going to hug that right knee in towards the armpit from here slowly start to bring the foot up towards the sky maybe holding on to the back knee and that cat is trying to the center of the camera because what you like to do all right as long as you guys can still see me and then we're now half happy baby so from here we keep widening out through the right hip and so you might want to bring the other hand onto the other thigh to counterbalance and then just keep holding on to wherever is accessible or comfortable this evening and just hanging out here so keep a little bit of core engagement once again just to support the spine and then also to counterbalance your body so sometimes if you put too much weight on that right on that hand of the happy baby you might roll off the block so just maintain that evenness in your body and opening up through the hips feeling that opening now on the kidney meridian on the left side that compression on the right plus we're using gravity to draw the energy back towards the torso Gentle rocking of the foot from side to side. 
softening the face, softening the shoulders. Widening through the hip. All right, let's gently release. So release the foot, bring your foot back to the ground, bring the feet back to hip width. Lift the hips, roll off your block, roll yourself back down from here. You can drop the knees from one side to the other. And then when you're ready, come back into neutral, slide the legs out, come back into Shavasana. Hmm. Okay, so as we release from the second side, once again, just come back into neutral and taking note of how everything feels. Breath, observing the energy and just breathing into it. Mm. And allowing everything to assimilate. Okay, so we should feel quite open along our, our hips, our abdomen area. And we're just going to do one arm more block up the back. So when you're ready, let's wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes, stretch out. And then hug the belly in as we hug the knees back in towards the chest. A little stretch here, roll your shoulders, neck and head back down. Rock yourself from side to side, massaging out across the back, lengthening the sit bones back down towards the long end of the mat and notice each time as we bring the knees back in perhaps after those exercises releasing the hip flexors you might be able to hug the knees a little closer in towards the belly all right and then from here we circle our knees in one direction and then back the other way you need to know i'm just going to move you the other way excuse me i know you're cute but can you move please thank you Okay, and then from here, take the knees apart, circle them in opposite directions. And then back the other way. Okay, from here, we're going to grab our block now. We roll off out to our sides, put ourselves back up. So your block can be either on its lowest end um, and long, or it can be on its lowest end and sideways or it can be on its middle end and long or middle end and sideways. Okay, so we're just gonna pop that block some, uh, somewhere along our shoulder blades. So sometimes you can do this and you can go through middle back and upper back, but tonight we're just gonna do one more. If you don't want your head inverted, then you pop another block at the top of your, so uh, where your head goes. So we start with our knees together, feet to the edges of the mat. And then from here, keep the hips on the floor, keep the belly hugged in towards the spine, and then you pop your, bring, Come onto one forearm and use your hand to guide your other hand to guide the block into position. So you can either have your other block then behind your head to keep your head at uh, the same height. You can have it slightly higher if you want, or allow the head to melt back. So find the position that feels good for you, and then you can keep your knees bent or you can extend your legs out. So if your knees are bent, then make them make the knees roll in towards each other and bring your feet a little bit wider out to the edges of your mat. So that's going to make the tops of your thighs roll in and that's going to give you more space through your lower back. Okay, so find a comfortable position here and then we're going to make sure that there's no pinching once again through the bones in the lower back or in the back and your other bones. And then breathing into the chest, opening up here and softening down. Hands can be wherever it's comfortable, they can be by your hips. You can maybe start to open the arms out by the shoulders or bring them into a cactus. And just make sure that whatever variation you're in, it's a nice, comfortable position. So, at the moment, if you're trying to deepen and you go, Oh, that feels like I'm working too hard, then release it a little bit. So it's always in our yin practice, we just want to come 
and find the first point of resistance and stop there and melt the body open. Breathing into the chest, breathing into the heart. Exhale, just melting down. Imagine the blocks arise and come to meet you and hold you and support you. More nice deep breaths here. And then when you're ready, we'll slowly engage the core, bend the knees, bring the feet back in, and then lift the head, and then just bring your hand to the side, roll off your block or blocks, remove the blocks from underneath you, and then roll yourself back down, slide the legs up, come back into Shavasana. And so as we release from our long hold, sometimes we'll, after a few breaths, you might feel the body just kind of resetting itself. So if it does, make any adjustments that you need to. And then just deepening the breath. Okay, when you're ready, let's wiggle the fingers and toes. And then stretching out, if you want to relax and stillness a little bit longer, take that time. Okay, and then when you're ready, let's hug both feet back in. Let you roll your nose in towards the knees, come into a little ball, and then neck and shoulders, neck and head back down, gently rocking from side to side as we rock from side to side. Keep softening and widening through your hip crease, and then lengthening the sit bones back towards the long end of the mat circle of the knees a few times in one direction and gently back the other way and then take the knees apart circle them in opposite directions and then back the other way Let's bring the feet back to the ground and then just drawing the belly into the spine. We just drop the knees from one side of the body to the other. Okay, and then we come back to center. Let's come into full happy baby now. So let's bring the soles of the feet to the sky and you're bringing your knees to the outs to your armpits, either holding the backs of the knees or maybe starting to walk the hands up the calves or the outside edges of the feet. Widen out through your hips widening out across the back and then from here roll your tailbone back towards the floor so you get this very uh so sometimes we're in this very flat back position right so we want to roll the tailbone back towards the floor which is creating that natural curve of my spine and just deepening the stretch a little bit and then rocking from side to side so if this spine is too much bring and you're feeling like everything's rolling forwards then bring it when you're in this position then bring your uh hands lower down and flatten out through your back and roll the tailbone back down so we're really focusing on just flattening the back out right now okay and rocking from side to side okay from here let's now release the legs extend the legs out give them a little shake out and we're going to come into banana asana so from here let's take the arms above the head lengthen up through the body and then we're going to walk our feet across to the right hand side of your mat you're going to hold on to your, take your right hand now, hold on to the left wrist, lengthen the spine, and as you exhale, you're reaching your body across towards the right. So you're in this sort of curved banana shape. 
and you feel this very nice opening through that left side of your body now notice as we bring everything to the side the body might want to roll to the side a little bit so roll your left hip back towards the floor and we square our shoulders and our hips towards the sky now sometimes if your shoulders are very tight if that feels super uncomfortable for the arms pop a block underneath your wrist so that's going to give you a little bit of support there or a cushion or anything that's good that's it okay and maybe keep a little bend in the elbow so we're going to hang out here for a couple a few minutes and so just gently closing down the eyes and then just starting to breathe into that left side of the body If you're imagining the lungs are like bellows as you in how you inflate that left side as you exhale how you deflate the right side and sometimes that visualization can help you go a little bit deeper into your shape make sure you keep that right side of your body the side that we're folding into nice and long as well and active so we're not feeling compression or crunching through the bone. So you feel some compression but uh, through your organs, but no crunching through the bones in the right side. If you want a bit more, maybe take your left foot and hook it over the top of the right leg. Deepening the breath and slowly opening up through that left side. Nice deep beautiful breaths here. Mm. And then when you are ready, hug the belly into the spine, release, and then come back to center. Find the legs and bind the hands, release everything, and then just come back into Shavasana. Take a couple of nice deep breaths here. We won't stay too long in the center, but just checking in with the body. Notice how you feel on one side compared to the other. Perhaps the breath feels more expanded on one side. Perhaps you feel a little bit longer on one side. So just checking in with the body, creating that awareness. And maybe we'll go on to the second side. So from here, take the arms up and then we lengthen up through the body we walk the feet across towards the left side we take the left hand hold the right wrist lengthening up through the midline and then exhale reaching across towards the left side just square the hips back to the ceiling and taking some nice deep beautiful breaths here into that right side of the body you're visualizing your fellows the lungs
doing that opening, putting your hip, put your sideways, your ribs, all the way out through your chest, your arm into the fingertips. If you want a little bit more, maybe flex your foot and cross your right foot over the top of the left. Two more nice deep breaths here. And then when you're ready, release and inhale, lengthen up, come back to center. And then relax your hands by your hips, come back into Shavasana. Deepening the breath. Once again, just checking in with the body. Notice how everything feels, observing any subtle changes. Breathing into that. If you're ready, gently wiggle fingers and toes, bring the movement back in, let's stretch out, and then when you're ready, hug the belly in as we hug the knees in towards the chest, roll into a little ball once again, get a really nice stretch through your back, so engage everything in the front of the body and try to contract, and then yeah, roll into a ball, and then leg and shoulders, neck and head back down, rock yourself from side to side, massaging the back, lengthening the sit bones down. And then when you're ready, gently release the knees, circling the knees in one direction, back the other way. And then take the knees apart, circle them in opposite directions. And then back the other way. All right. Bring the feet back onto the ground and then drop the belly into the draw the belly into the spine as we drop the knees from one side to the other. And then come back to center when you have evened up. All right. We're going to do a little bit of fascial rolling now on our glutes. So let's grab a tennis ball. And also maybe have a strap close by. If, um, just for the next shape so we can easily transition. So from here we start with our uh, knees bent. So have your tennis ball, have a strap close by. Okay. And we're going to take the left leg up. So from with the knees bent and then taking that left leg to the sky. Widen out through your hip crease, winding that thigh and that leg outwards, that hip outwards. And then we bend that knee and come into our little figure four. Okay. So the hips should already feel quite open, but if you like, you'll wind that knee a little bit away. And then now grab your tennis ball and you're going to bring it underneath your glutes on your left side. When you found a spot, your body will kind of let you know and it will kind of go, ooh, that kind of hurts, but it kind of feels good. And then when you found that spot, let's just start to soften and breathe into it. So maybe creating a little bit of gentle movement. And maybe just feeling the spot and then just deepening the breath into that space.
softening the face, softening the shoulders. Notice if you're holding tension in different areas. If you are, just try to release. You felt a release in one spot, maybe you find another spot. And just breathing into it, trying to release and soften. notice sometimes as well we might have referring sensations so just then I felt my glutes release and then I just felt it all releasing down the jaw so just observing how everything is connected and then and just observing without any kind of control or judgment the intention to open and release and soften and just take a few more nice deep breaths here okay when you're ready to roll slightly to your right release your tennis ball from here feel free to shake the legs out if you like okay and then we're going to come once you've shaken everything out come back into your number four and then we're going to come up tonight we're going to hold the back of the knee so option to maybe grab your strap and bring your left hand in between your number four right hand comes on the outside so maybe use your strap or use your hands let's hold the back of the knee tonight and roll up bring your nose to the knee and then lengthen your shoulders neck and head back down and so right now we should feel that beautiful stretch through the glutes that we have been rolling and just keep the shoulders relaxed, back of the neck is long, face is relaxed. And just breathing into the stretch. Okay, so if it's quite a deep stretch through your glutes in this position, then just stay where you're at. If you want to add a little bit more and add the hamstring, you can start to straighten that left, that right leg, sorry, and find a position that's comfortable. So I kind of like to, when I hold, when I do this pose, I kind of like to release my other outside hand and just hold onto my foot because that helps me to weigh my foot down a little bit. So that might not be good for you. You might be uh, in this position with the strap and holding on. Okay, another option could possibly be bringing the strap onto the foot. Okay, and stretching it out like that if you want to add the hamstring. Otherwise, if it feels like it's, if your glutes are super tight tonight, oh, anytime you're watching this video, so find the option that works for your body. Okay, so this is just another option that you can play with. All right, but if you find that sometimes when you, sometimes when we add something, it becomes too much. Some, if, if the glutes are really super tight, then adding the hamstring might be too much so it might be better to have it bent otherwise it might feel quite nice to extend that leg as well and just add a little bit more onto it so I want you to really listen to what your body needs tonight so if you're in that number four with the strap you bring this strap if you've got the strap you hook your number four and then you bring that leg up sure yep so just find the option that feels good for your body this evening just breathing into it. Yeah, if it's super tight, she'll keep the knee bent. So this is just a different option I just want to throw in tonight.
take a few more nice deep breaths here and you roll your tailbone back towards the floor whatever variation you're in you're ready let's release the bind bring that foot back to the ground and from here we're going to come into a twist so to stay where you're at we're staying on the same side but i'm just going to change the, my direction so i can um look at everyone okay so we're still in the number four left leg is up now from here take your take your left hand out by your shoulder palm is facing down all right if you can if it's accessible hold on to your ankle or your shin if it's not accessible it doesn't matter bring the hand out by your shoulder okay now we're going to push into our foot we're going to pop the hips across to the left slightly and then maybe holding onto your foot or just bringing your hand down inhale as you exhale hug your belly into the spine and then bring your foot onto the ground and turn your head towards the right okay so this is a very open twist here i want you to start to push into the big toe pad of your top foot so either your hand is holding your ankle or your bottom knee is supporting your foot in that right position Okay, so this is like our Cleopatra. We push into the big toe pad, we push into the inner ankle, and then or the inside of your heel. And from here, we start to wind your leg almost like a rope. So you're winding it away from the midline of the body and creating external rotation, and you're winding it open. So see how my hand is uh, is moving? That's how I want you to wind. All right, so that top leg is in your number four position. You push into the big toe pad. That that does not leave the ground. Okay, and then from the ankle we start to wind so maybe use your hand to create do the same thing i'm doing and you're winding away from you so you're feeling an opening up through that you're getting uh you're pushing that knee away but without pushing pressure on your knee joints so it's all supported as you wind your connective tissue you're winding open that left hip and then keep the belly hugging into the spine feel that opening up especially around the hip if it's been if you were sitting all day and you're opening the ribs, opening out through towards that left hand. And then maybe you can turn your head a little bit further towards the right and feel that winding open of that left side of your neck. So once you've used your hand a few times to create that sensation in your body, you can just maybe hold on to your, <coughs> excuse me, to your foot and then keep winding everything open. Keep the belly hugging in towards the spine. So that top knee should be facing towards the sky. Because we're, we're winding that knee away from you. So it's from the ankle and then it's like a, a winding motion. We're winding it away from the midline. So keep pushing into that big toe pad and it's like you want to push that knee away from your body. But we're winding that knee away from the body. Okay, once you have wound all the way up through the body and you've gone up to the neck, we're now going to come into a closed twist so hug the belly into the spine take the head to the sky the option one is you can leave your head facing to the sky option two if everything feels very tight in your body otherwise you can turn your eye gaze to look into your left hand okay and then you can keep that bottom knee there and maybe just widen out through the hip crease and then bring that knee down option one option two slide the other the bottom leg down maybe push bring your hips a little bit further across towards the left and then bring your hand onto the outside of the knee. And then as you exhale, keep the belly hugging in as we now start to push your hand against that knee and come into a closed twist. So now we're stretching out across the back of the body. So Sheila, if this one doesn't feel good for you, uh, you can come out of it or sit up and do a twi seated twist. Otherwise, just making sure that everything is active and then up here if it feels good so if you can keep your shoulder grounded and then try to bring the knee all the way towards the floor keeping the belly hugging in towards the spine as we release from the lower back middle back upper back and shoulder and then when you're ready hug the belly in and slowly inhale yourself back to the center. Bring your feet back in the middle, hips back in the middle, and then hug both knees into the chest. Massage everything out as you walk from side to side. Wiggle your knees in one direction and then back the other way. Check in with the body. Notice how everything feels, one side compared to the other. Wiggle the knees in opposite directions. 
and then back the other way. Okay, bring the feet back to the ground, draw the belly in, and then just dropping the knees from one side of the body to the other. All right, and then from here, let's grab our tennis ball, and we're taking the right leg to the sky, widening out through the hip crease, winding that thigh open so this direction that we're winding in is exactly the same as we're winding in our twist except we're winding from the toe and the foot upwards rather than from the hip outwards okay bending that knee and coming into your number four grab your tennis ball and then pop quick find a spot that feels tight but good and then melting yourself down onto it and just check in with the body notice how one side might feel compared to the other If you have a cramp at any time, just really shake it all the way out and then maybe just, yeah, just shake it out, make sure everything's all right, and then just skip this movement for, for tonight, shall I, if there's a cramp. Release one spot, then maybe finding another spot. Just deepening the breath and just observing any foreign sensations. Okay, and then we'll just take a few more nice deep breaths here. And then from here, roll onto your left, release the tennis ball. Option to just extend the legs, give everything a little shake out if you need to. And then sometimes if you release something, you might just want to shake it out. And then let's come back into our number four. Let's hold the back of the knee tonight. So maybe using a strap or your hands. Holding onto the back of the knee, either using your strap or interlacing your fingers. Roll up into a little ball first, nose to knee, and then relax shoulders, neck and head back down. And then from here, just starting to enjoy that nice stretch through the glutes on the second side. So keep that if you're on the ankle of that top foot the right foot keep it dorsal flex so you're pushing the heel away pulling the toes back towards your knee okay and then from here option to stay there or maybe starting to bend the other leg up and find your option and we just want to find a nice position where we can hang out for the next couple of minutes so sometimes if you've got your foot straight maybe just release it a little bit so so for example if i'm if I'm just holding my knee, I could come all the way in here. But when I extend my leg up, I go, oh, okay, that feels a little bit tight. You might release it a little bit, that leg a little bit. Or you can just keep whatever's comfortable. So, yeah, so if you want to have both, you can just kind of release that foot. bring So you'll get less of a stretch through your glutes. That might be the other thing. So just find whatever feels good for your body this evening. So we want to feel a sensation, but not anything like we're pulling or getting the shakes. We're just still hanging out here for a couple of minutes, so it's quite a long hold.
deepening the breath. Okay, when you're ready, let's gently release the strap of the bind, bending that bottom knee, bringing your foot back to the floor. Okay, let's now take the right hand out by your shoulder. I'm going to pop the hips to the right. I'm just going to turn around so that I'm looking at you guys. Okay, and so right hand comes up by the shoulder, maybe holding onto the ankle with your left hand. Pop the hips to the left. Inhale here. And as we exhale, we bring the legs across towards the left side of the body so Sheila just take a t take a few moments and a few minutes and maybe just skip this for now and then just shake everything out as much as you need to okay and Diane is pushing into the big toe pad of the right foot and starting to wind that leg away so we're winding the knee to the sky winding that knee away from you Winding open through that hip, winding through the ribs, and turning the head a little bit further into the left side, and then winding open that right side of your neck, extending all the way out through the fingertips into the, out into the arm. I just hang out in Shavasana a little bit. Okay, and Diane from here, we're going to transition to our closed twist. So belly hugs in, inhale, head to center. Exhale, look out over your right hand. We lift out of the hip crease. So, and then keeping that hip crease wide, we either option one, bend that knee and bring that knee now facing down, or we extend the bottom leg out and come a little bit deeper into the twist. Keep the belly hugging into the spine. Eye gaze is either to the sky or it's either to the extended fingertips. And now getting that nice release across the back from your lower back to the back, through the upper back and shoulder. And when you're ready, slowly hug the belly in and then slowly inhale back to center. Feet in the middle, hips in the middle. Lengthen the spine, hug your right knee in, bring the left knee to join it and then just gently rock from side to side. Massaging out across the back. Gently circling the knees a few times. In one direction other way, take the knees apart, circle them in opposite directions, bring the feet back onto the ground, draw the belly into the spine and just drawing the knees from one side of the body to the other. And let's finish off with one more happy baby, so bring the knees in towards your armpits, 
And then maybe this is enough just hugging the knees into the armpits and rocking from side to side. Or even just holding onto your feet or holding onto your feet in butterflies. Sometimes that feels quite nice as well. And so rather than coming into our full happy baby, when we do this, we feel that flattening out of the back. But sometimes when you do this and just hold the feet, let the feet fall away from you. And then you just feel a nice little stretch through the tops of your shoulders. So you can hold the shins or the feet and just pulling, let the legs be heavy and just let everything pull. And you just feel this very nice stretch through the top of your shoulders. All right, and then maybe peel the feet apart and come into full happy baby. And we rock from side to side. So now we're feeling that massaging on those bands on either side of our spine. And then when you're ready, just release the legs, give them, extend them out, give them a little shake out, maybe a little shimmy through your body. And then just melting down. Grab whatever you need to be comfortable for the next few minutes. If you want to put a, a blanket over you, and from here, just relaxing down. Feet just a little bit wider than hip width. Let the feet melt up to the side so your hips can relax. Keeping the spine long. And then roll the shoulders back down away from the ears into their sockets. Back of the neck is long and tip of the tongue resting on the roof of the mouth behind the two front teeth. Deep in the breath. If you're watching this as a replay, I encourage you to stay in Shavasana for a while longer, maybe for the next 10 or so minutes. Otherwise, and I'm just going to get up and say goodbye. If you're here with me in the live class, just stay and relax in Shavasana for a few more minutes. Thank you, Namaste, to the people at home.